So I thought it was much more appropriate to have Leslie Monroe introduce her daughter. So I'm going to, I'm going to, Raj, take it away. I have secrets. No. It is my privilege, honor, and deepest joy to introduce Kristen Johnson Lloyd. And how wonderful it is to have children who share the love that I do for the art that we perform. And she, as I mentioned when she was here before, she ended up at age 10 or 11 on her father's parents' dairy farm. And because there was not a 100% amiability between everybody involved, <laughs> once she was on the farm, then she realized that she had feelings coming up, like she felt like an orphan. She felt like an estranged child. She felt like she didn't have a place where she really belonged because of how everything happened so fast with where she ended up. So she's on the dairy farm and she had had a friend that had companionship with her named Honeybee, a cow. You'll see the honeybees out there. They, they give honeybee hugs because that was what took her to a place where she could breathe again, maybe. So she's sitting crying in the barn after a milking or whatever and honeybee was way over on the other side of the barn and she sat up there against the feeding stall and all of a sudden she noticed a nudge on her shoulder it was honeybee honeybee had walked all the way around all the feeding stalls to where she could reach Kristen and give her a nudge and reminder that that she could do it or what, whatever I'm making up here. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she, I, I felt really worthless in that moment and she came when I felt at my worst, the most worthless and made me realize that I, I may not mean the world to the people I thought I, I wished I did, but I seem to mean the world to this cow and, and my dog actually came and joined me too. And I, you have to know something about Shep. He's an ADHD border collie. He only had... <laughs> I was lucky if I could get five seconds of petting him before he's like, okay, I'm done. I'm off to chase my tail and carry it. <laughs> because that what he, that's he did, what he did. And by the way, thank you, Mom, for that uh, introduction. Dang it, you're going to make this song hard to sing now. <laughs> but um, yes, uh, Honeybee was a very meaningful uh, friend in my life. And they actually have a picture to uh, show of her. I'm actually on her back right here riding her. <laughs> I, when I first, <laughs> when I was uh, leaned up against the feeder in that pity party mode and I had looked across and I saw her all the way across the barn, she was just standing there eating hay just like with that face and like, what you doing? <laughs> and I'm like, she's just a cow. She doesn't get all this. But she did. I mean, she walked all the way around and came to nug nudge me and give me a hug, which she did that all the time, by the way. Whenever I was having a bad day, all I had to do was just go out to the barn, uh, find her, give her a big hug, and say, Honeybee, the world's mean to me. <laughs> and she would wrap her head around me and give me a hug back, like she was saying, it's going to be okay. I love you. And it, it got me through, and that's uh, what eventually inspired me uh, years later when she was gone to uh, write a book about her and how she helped me find my brave and eventually create a plushy cow because I was like, I miss honeybee hugs. I want another one. And I wanted to be able to share that with other people, and eventually that inspired putting together a bundle that can be given as a gift, as an experience to kids or adults. I didn't think it would uh, appeal to adults, but there have been some who have benefited from it where you give this honeybee hug as a, a gift and experience that helps uh, kids feel like they're the real happy ending to the book, to the story. And it has been, I, I never expected to be able to be a part of such an awesome uh, project to help other people, but I've, I've just been loving every minute of it. And that's what you saw out there, by the way. But anyway, this song here, without further ado, is a tribute to that dear friend named Honeybee. Dang it, I hope I can get through this. This song is hard anyway. This is called My Sweet Honeybee. A ball of gang 
sickly legs, a calf with four left feet. Sickly as could be, but boy, was she so sweet. I nursed her back to feeling good, the sweetest sight to see was that silly calf that I named Honeybee. She had a knack for trouble. She liked to see me pout because she knew I'd never have the heart to cuss her out. I didn't see it coming, but she sure grew on me because I liked my horse, but she weren't Honeybee. And that sweet smile in her told me it'll be okay a quick nuzzle from her nose made the bad dreams go away i didn't know how lost i was till she found me on my knees wishing i had a friend so she befriended me my sweet honeybee Just another rough edge day, I couldn't see for tears. Cause all the what ifs and what wasn't were feeding all my fears. She's just a cow, I said, she'll never understand. But she proved me wrong and let God guide her hand. And that sweet smile in her eyes told me it'll be okay. A quick nuzzle from her nose made the bad dreams go away. She proved how found I was and she got me on my knees. Thanking God for this friend who believed in me, my sweet honeybee. When we had to sell the herd, I swore she'd go with me. I started making plans for us, but I forced myself to see that a sweet old cow and city life would never quite agree. I had to say goodbye to my sweet honeybee. But now a new home's little girl knows that it'll be okay. A nuzzle from my old cow's nose makes her bad dreams go away. worth believing in so thanks for loving me my sweet honeybee